So in this part, this is where I actually drill into the roof and rivet the roof rack bracket on. So here I'm just removing the bottom plate so I can get to the bracket that's attached to the roof. Have to pull that rubber ditch guard out as well. I needed to mark a hole through the bracket onto the roof with just a sharpie so that way I had my spot to start drilling. So I'm going to start drilling here in a second once I remove this bracket. Uh, I did pre-drill uh, just with a smaller bit. Um, it's, it does say to use a 5 mil bit. I pre-drilled with a 2 mil just so it made life a little bit easier. And you can see the uh, tape there just so I don't go too far into the roof when the drill bit breaks through. I'll be honest, this was a pretty nerve-wracking part, drilling into the roof of your less than one-year-old Triton. As that second hole breaks through, got out the Dyson vacuum, just sucked up all those little metal shavings. The instruction manual calls this swarf. I'm not sure where that terminology comes from, but uh, uh, it can cause rust, I believe, if you leave it in there, because it's over, like bare metal. Um, so I made sure I got rid of as much of that as I could. Here's the standard bracket before I started. And here is the aftermath after drilling some holes. Here comes the cold galvanizing paint. So I've got that mixed up um, just with a cotton bud or Q-tip or whatever you call them. Just pushing that into the hole as much as I can just to try and prevent any rust uh, when, if water does get down in that hole. And on that second hole there, I just did this all the way around every hole. Uh, I actually went back and did two coats of it essentially, so I waited about half an hour between application just to let it cure a little bit before I dug in there with the rivets. Now on the bottom of the bracket, you need to put these little sort of adhesive rubber type pads. I guess that's to help with vibration, it does seal up that area so no water, or hopefully no water can get through the cavity now after we've drilled holes through the roof. I got all four brackets ready while the galvanizing paint was drying. Now jumping into the very nerve wracking part of attaching these permanently. So I've put some Loctite in, in that standard screw hole. I wanted to make this as strong as possible because I don't intend on removing them. Well, not the bottom bracket now anyway, because it is riveted. It's going to be riveted. Just lining up these rivets here. I'm just lining up everything, getting it ready before we start the permanent attachment. I'll be honest, I probably put a bit extra Loctite on, but that's one of those things with DIY. We only know what we know. You Google what you can. So yeah, I may not have needed as much, but I got a whole bottle of it, so why not use it? just cranking this screw down here so that way the bracket is sitting in its correct location before I put those rivets through. And here we go. So I'm using a hand rivet. The guide or the instructions do say uh, pneumatic. I do not have one of those and I did not want to buy one purely for this. So I'd recommend it because this was hard, hard work on my hands. But just with a bit of perseverance, I was able to get them all through and uh, they snapped off well. And once they were all in, went the whole way around. I had sore hands at this point. Uh, just putting all the rubber back in, all the wedges back on, and the base plates, just screwing them down. Now, because I loaded this up with Loctite, I wanted to uh, let those screws cure or the Loctite cure so I'm not putting the rack back on 
like the whole rack, just so that way these can sit uh, without any extra force on them, so that can cure. And uh, just put this little cap over them, so that way it rounds it off, and looks good. And uh, I'll give you guys a quick walk around. So much like the first part, I've just left these with those little caps in there for now. And once I'm uh, satisfied that that's all cured, I'll stick the racks on and we're good to go. Thanks for hanging out again, guys.